So UDI is this uh, globally unique alphanumeric or numeric, fully numeric number, and it's consisting of two parts. So that first part is that device identifier portion, and that is required, uh, includes identification pointing to a labeler, so manufacturer uh, would, would have a unique identifier, and also embedded in that number is uh, identification to a particular product version. So each new version or model that you come out with uh, would, would have a unique number. And, um, embedded in there is also uh, some package indication and, and a check digit. The other portion that follows, the second portion, is referred to as a production identifier. And in the event there's uh, various production controls that are placed on the label, these uh, would be added to the UDI to make up the full UDI. So if they don't appear on, on the label, then uh, none of these production identifiers would be there. So it, you remain just with the device identifier. Um, but those additional controls, such as manufacturing date, expiry date, lot, batch number, uh, serial number, and for Unimed, uh, European Union specifications, there's a software ID uh, production identifier. Uh, if they are applicable and, and on the labels, then you simply add those two components together to get a full DI. And I'm using GS1 as an example here, but uh, the device identifier has that long string of numbers. There's a code in the beginning, parentheses 01, that indicates that the following numbers are a device identifier. And in the same fashion, uh, any or all of those uh, production identifiers are added to the, the full string of a UDI. So it gets quite long. Now, how is UDI represented? Well, we'll see it represented in what uh, regulators refer to as an AIDC or the standard devices uh, organizations refer to automatic identification of data capture. Um, and that typically fleshes out to be a linear barcode or uh, much more um, attractive and, and desirable these days and two dimensional, it's less, uh, real estate, uh, you can pack a lot more information into it. So it does have some definitely uh, some benefits there. Um, so either a, typically a one dimensional or two dimensional barcode. And then the other component in the presentation is the human readable text. So that long string of numbers uh, can be underneath the barcode, can be stacked. Um, and there are four issuing agencies that have been approved by European commissions, GS1, uh, HIBIC, ICC, BBA, and IFA. So uh, don't have a whole lot of time to dive into that, but uh, we'll keep that for another discussion. Um, one quick uh, comment here about labels. How does it actually appear on, on an MDR compliant uh, label, the actual product label? So you'll see a number of things there. Um, be aware there's an MD symbol for medical devices, but today we're talking about this UDI presentation. So it, this example has that 2D uh, followed by the device identifier and those um, additional production identifiers there. Um, 